you ever found yourself wanting to do this to your computer? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no! Well, whether you agree or disagree, the fact is I guarantee you some point in time you have been on your system and you've wanted to do some sort of a pen interface into your computer, haven't you? Yeah. Then you thought about it for just a little bit longer and you wanted even more functionality. You got really jealous of all those people with all of those eye things, you know, those eye things that are all over the web? You mean Apple? Yeah, the fruit. Apple, okay, I get it. So anyways, that functionality that's in all of the Apple products that allows you to kind of take things and do this with it, you want that on your PC, don't you? Huh? Let me show you. You know the stuff that allows you to take pictures when you're on your Apple product and do the pinch and twist like this? If I want this picture to be a little bit bigger, I can take it and put my hand on the touchpad of this system and pinch and squeeze. That allows me to do the picture bigger or smaller. Now let's say I wanted this picture to be photo, not landscaped. Well, in Apple, it's real simple. I take my fingers in the same touchpad on my device and I just twist it and it allows me to take that picture and rotate it in any axis that I want very simply. Now do you get it? Ooh, Hercules, 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 Hercules. Anyway. Well, that functionality that you're looking for is available in a product called a tablet PC. The pen interface and the touch interface is available on most of these products. There's nothing wrong with your current computer. So when you look at the price of a tablet PC that ranges over $1,000 to nearly $4,000, it doesn't make much sense to go with a product of this expense to just get those functionalities. Well, there's always Apple. You can shop on the Apple store online and buy a product that might meet some of your needs. Some of them, I say. You've got the iPad at nearly $500 all the way up to the Mac Pro at $2,499 but you still will not get all of the functionalities that you're looking for of the pen and the touch. I wish I had something that would allow me to write on my computer with a pen, but not a pen, and have the functionality of an Apple. No! This is the Wacom Bamboo model CTH460, also known as the Wacom Bamboo Pen and touch. Now, I know I was a little bit fast on that one, so I'll slow it down again. It's the Wacom Bamboo Pen and Touch. This is a great product from a great company. Wacom is actually two companies, the parent company being out of Tokyo, Japan, and the America's headquarters for Wacom is out of Vancouver, Washington. And the Vancouver, Washington Wacom is also known as Wacom Technologies. This is a human interface device that is USB driven, meaning there are no power plugs or adapters that you need to plug into this device to make it work. It all comes out of the USB plug. This product is both supported on the Mac and the PC, so you can use this on either platform and know you're going to have a great experience. The cable is about six feet long, so if you have your PC or your Mac on the floor, you have plenty of cable. And of course, if you have your laptop or iMac sitting on a desktop, just use some Velcro or some zip ties and uh, tidy up your cables to shorten them up. Now, when I opened up the product, the first thing I noticed was it was very well packaged, very sexy in its packaging. Nice black mat on all of the boxes, very well uh, constructed on the boxes to protect the actual device itself. When you open up the, the main box, you're gonna find both the actual tablet itself and this box right here. Now this box right here contains all of your instructions and drivers that come with the product. Now when you open up this box, the first thing you're gonna notice is that Wacom did a lot of thought around even this piece, how important it is to actually get your product up and running. So if you look really close here at the box, you see that it says plug it in, install it, and it gets up and running. One, two, three, it's that simple. Now, when you open up the box just a little bit further, the first thing you're going to see is a thank you note from Wacom saying, thank you for buying our product. That's really cool to really take the time out to thank the person for actually buying it. Then you're going to have your instruction guide, the quick start guide. 
you can page through it. It's well written and uh, it gives you all the instructions on the actual product, the drivers, where to go get more technical information and help and support on the product should you need it. The next thing you're going to find is this CD right here or a updated version on your product when you buy it. This will be your driver CD. And then the last one is the bundled software package that comes with it. I'll tell you a little bit more about this in just a few minutes. Now let's start looking at the actual tablet itself and we'll walk you through some of the functions and features on it. So as we take a closer look at the Bamboo Pen and Touch, you're going to notice the orientation of it. Now this is set up for a right-handed person. Now if you are a left-handed person, during the installation of the product, it's going to ask you, are you left-handed or right-handed? You can simply select the feature radio button within the installation and tell it that you're left-handed. If you are left-handed, you will simply orient the device just like this and it will know that you are a left-handed person. I'm a right-handed person, so mine is actually set up like this. The second thing you're going to enjoy are these four buttons right here to the left side or your right side, depending on your orientation. These are customizable, programmable buttons to do repetitive features and tasks that you do within your computer or your graphic program of choice. And of course you have your stylus itself. The stylus does not require any batteries and it has a couple of cool features on it. The tip itself is replaceable and they do give you a couple of replaceable tips with your actual Wacom Bamboo Pen & Touch when you buy it. The second is this toggle switch right here. This toggle switch can be programmed again to do repetitive tasks and features within your requirements. The last is the back of this stylus. This is not just a black cap. This actually functions as a digital eraser within your graphic program. Now that you have your Wacom Bamboo Pen & Touch installed and working, you're going to want to customize it to your wants, needs, and desires. Because remember, this is a human interface device and it should feel like it's an extension of your arm into the computer. Now I'm using the stylus itself right now to move this cursor around and you can see how smooth it is. And if I really wanted to use this stylus as a mouse, I just put it into mouse mode right here and I can set my mouse settings right here to reflect accordingly. I prefer mine in pen mode. It seems to be more logical for me because in pen mode, the resolution of the screen is reflected to that and is relative to that of the tablet. So meaning that if I put my pen here on the tablet, it will reflect here on the screen. And likewise, if I need my cursor up here on the screen, all I have to do is place it here on the tablet. You can also customize the feel of the eraser within here to be a soft eraser or a firm eraser. Customize those two buttons we talked about a little bit earlier to do a various set of features sets available to you, including pop-up menus. And the tip feel of your stylus. Would you like it to feel soft or firm? Just like you would in a lead, you can make it feel like a soft lead or a firm lead. Those pop-up menus are configured here. And the tablet itself. If you have multiple people in your house or your office using the Wacom Bamboo Pen & Touch, you can set that orientation to left-handed or right-handed as that person needs. And those four customizable buttons that we talked about earlier are set up here. And just like the buttons on the stylus, you have a variation of options to go through here to include keystrokes. And in keystrokes, I would just go in here and I would set up whatever keystroke I want. And when I click OK, mm -hmm. it will actually reflect that set of keys when I press that button. The touch speed of the stylus itself and the cool features. All of the features of the one touch finger that we talked about earlier that you would have on a touchpad. If you wanted to do a touch to the left, this is how you would do it. Right clicking is a simple two touch feature. It knows how to distinguish between a single finger or a two finger just like in a Mac. Touch to the right, all you have to do is grab whatever you want, pull it over, and use that second finger, and it'll reflect that of a right click at that point. The drag is real simple. Grab it and drag it across your screen. You can do a touch lock as well. And the gestures. You're scrolling here, so if I use my two features on the tablet, I can scroll left, right, up, and down. 
zoom features are that pinch squeeze that we talked about earlier on the MacBook Pro. Now you have that same feature on a PC. And rotating is as simple as this. And forwarding and backwards. If you're using this on a web page or a graphic program, you can scroll through your web pages or your pictures just like that. So there you have it, the Wacom Bamboo Pen and Touch retails for about $99 US and it comes bundled with Adobe Photoshop Elements. Enjoy the human interface and we'll see you next time, web world.